Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about string formatting. In the last video we covered how to use format specifiers in string formatting. In this second part we are going to implement string dot format method and f strings. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our lecture 20. What is the use of string formatting? How to create spaces with help of format specifiers? Can we use percentage s yes in place of percentage c? How to set precision with help of percentage f? If you haven't watched the previous video, it is suggestible to you to watch that video for the better understanding of string formatting. After watching this video, you will be able to know how to use index mechanism in format method, how to assign names for variables in format method, how to implement alignment in format method, how to use f-strings. We started our discussion about the string formatting in the last video. In that video, we covered first method that is formatting with format specifiers. So, remaining two methods are how to implement string formatting with string dot format method and formatting with string literals that is also called f strings. Let us start with string dot format method. This is the new style formatting method introduced in python version 3. To implement this method, we need to call a method format on the object string. Inside the formatted string, we use replacement field. That replacement field denoted by curly braces. See the syntax, print within the quotation marks, we need to write some strings. Within that string, we need to write some replacement fields. What is replacement field we use here? Braces. After that, we need to write dot. Then we need to call a method format. Within the parentheses of this method, we need to write the variable or variable names. See this program. We created a variable and assigning some string value. Now in the print statement, I want to print that name like your name is after is I want to print the name of that person. For that we need to write your name is replacement field that is braces within the quotation mark. Then dot call the format method. Within the parenthesis we need to write that variable name. When you execute this program in place of the replacement field the variable value will be printed. Execute it. Now see output is your name is Sri. The important point is number of the replacement fields must be equal to number of the variables we used in the format method. Suppose if you write two replacement fields but I am writing single variable name. In such cases it will raise an error. See this example, when you want to print multiple variable values, we need to write those variable values in format method separated by comma. So we created three variables and assigned some values, integer values. See the seventh statement, print n1 value is one replacement field, comma, n2 value is one replacement and n3 value is one more replacement field within the quotation dot format, we need to write the variable names. So in these three places, in the same sequential order, these three variable values will be printed. Nothing but in the first replacement field, the n1 variable value will be printed. In the second replacement field, the n2 variable value will be printed and so on. Execute it. n1 value is 0, n2 is equals to 20 and n3 is equals to 30. So here the important point is we need to follow the sequential order. Suppose if you write like this print n1 is equal to 
replacement n2 is equals to replacement and n3 is equals to replacement dot format in the format method while we are writing the parameters i am not following the sequential order i am writing n3 n2 n1 in this sequence in this case n3 value will be printed in first replacement field then n2 value will be printed in the second replacement field and so on i think it's clear when we print multiple variable values for those variable values internally python maintains indices see this example if we write the statement like print three replacement fields dot format three variable names so in this case what is the sequence you are writing in format method in the same sequence the values will be printed the reason is the python maintains indices for those variables then see one more case if you want to change the sequence of the values to be printed you can do that see the python maintains indices as we know but while printing the values in the print statement what we are writing is here i am writing 2 we are writing 0 and 1 means second index value will be printed here 0th index value will be printed here and first index value will be printed and these are the indices see this example so using three variables storing three values and by default the indices order is 0 1 2 only starts from 0 incremented by 1 in this ninth statement we are not writing any indices by default those values will be printed in the order of 0 1 2 3 indices only if you focus ninth and tenth statement even though we are specifying 0 1 2 indices and in the ninth statement we are not specifying the indices we are getting the same output then if you want to change the index values you can do that now see the 14th statement at this place i want to print first index value at this position i want to print second index variable value and here i want to print zeroth index variable value and this is 0 1 2 then execute it now see here with using or without using the indices we are getting same values n1 value is 10 n2 20 n3 30 in the third print statement we changed the index values actually n value is 10 but in place of the n1 value we are getting 20 where that is the n2 value because here we are writing index value is 1 this is the index 1 so n2 value will be printed there and so on instead of the index we can also use some names in the replacement fields but we must provide those names in the format method we have seen just now we can change the index values we can use different index values in different sequential order instead of the index values instead of the numbers if you want to use some names in the replacement field that is also possible see the syntax print statement within the quotation mark within the replacement field you need to write the names of your variables what is the name you assigned for that variables in the format method not the actual variable name see in the format method we are assigning name v1 for the variable v1 name v2 is the name what we are assigning for the variable v2 so in the place of the name v1 the value of the v1 will be printed name v1 is a name given to the variable v1 in the same way name v2 is a name given to the variable v2 see this example see this example so we are using two variables name ram age 25 so in the print statement observe within the quotation mark what we are writing is one replacement field within that i am not using any index i am writing some name person and your age is one more replacement field within that i am writing the one more name number if you observe in the dot format method 
what is our variable names name and age is actually these two are our variable names name and age but what we are doing here is for the variable name name we are assigning a temporary name person for the variable name age we are assigning one more name here number so what are the names we are assigning in this format method we need to write those names in the replacement fields where you want to print that value execute it now see hi ram your age is 25 third method is formatted string literals or simply you can call it as f strings f strings formatting mechanism introduced in python 3.6 version it is known as formatted string literals or more commonly f strings to create an f string in python prefix the string with the letter upper case f or lower case f two are valid nothing but while we are writing the print statement before writing the string value we need to write the letter f hence it is called f strings syntax print so this is the string value what we have written within the quotation mark before that we need to write the letter f and within the quotation you can write your string where you use the replacement field within that you can write some variable name so in the place of the variable name the value of that variable will be printed f strings are faster than the other two methods this new formatting syntax is powerful because you can embed python expressions in f strings those expressions will be evaluated in line with f strings see the example suppose we stored some two values and in the f strings directly you can write any expression at the time of the execution that expression will be evaluated and you will get the value of that expression see this example just created a variable assign some name and if you observe this print statement this is our string value before this string value we need to write the letter f and within the string within the replacement field we need to write the variable name in the place of the variable name the value of that variable will be printed now execute it see the output welcome to page see how to print two variable values using the f strings so take any two variables and assign some values in the print statement start with f and write the string within that in which format you want to print the string suppose i want to print the string like welcome to here i want to print the student name you got in place of this i want to print the percentage of that students so percentage of marks will be printed as this here student name will be printed here student marks will be printed now see welcome to tej you got 90 percentage of marks now see in this example we are using expressions so i want to find area of the rectangle so for that the formula is length into width so we take in those variables and directly i am using that expression in the f strings see the output area of the rectangle is 18 okay in this replacement field the expression is evaluated and you will get the output see one more example for the format method we can create the alignments with help of the format methods see if you want to create some spaces with help of the format method we need to use this syntax within the replacement field you need to start with colon symbol colon less than 10 the meaning of this one is 10 spaces are created and when you write less than symbol the output will be printed with left alignment and see this again 
10 spaces are created but the output will be printed with right alignment greater than means right alignment and see this 12th statement if you write exponential symbol or cap symbol the output will be printed with centered alignment now see the output python python two times is printed with left alignment because by default the print method prints the output with left alignment and even though if you use less than symbol that is also print the value with left alignment and see this is the right alignment 10 spaces are created but the output will be printed with right alignment and see this fourth output 10 spaces are created but the output is printed with centered alignment you can observe the spaces before this text and after that text also check your knowledge what we learned from this video how to use index mechanism in dot format method how to assign names for the variables using string dot format method how to implement alignment by using string dot format method how to use f strings if this video is useful to you please subscribe the channel watch the videos like and share it thank you